someone recently asked me, why am I hungry all the time? And I had a pretty straightforward response. It comes down to two things. It's either you're not eating enough of the good stuff, or two, you gotta work on yourself. You have a journey ahead of you, and there's nothing wrong with that. So I'm gonna break down these two points, and we're gonna talk about why you're not hungry, or why you're always hungry all the time. If you want more information, there is a link down below. It's a post on my blog. I went in depth into these, and you can check that out if you're interested. So, either one, you're not eating enough of the good stuff. It's like a car, you know a car? Well, if I use the wrong type of gasoline, I can fill up my tank, but it's not gonna go anywhere. It's not gonna be fuel. So this could be one thing that's going on. And the culprit, I'll just pull out my uh, thing right here. The culprit is gonna be, let's see if I can, have, if I can find the culprit. The culprit is sugar. I wanted to find like some white bread, but I realized <laughs> not to be bragging or anything, but I don't have white bread. Um, the problem is pasta. The problem is soda. The problem is chips or things that come in plastic bags. Uh, the other day my, I was at my friend's house playing cards and they served a meal of... Um, what are those orange squares? Cheez-Its. Cheez-Its. And, you know, it was, it was cards, it was casual, and it was fine. But it seems like they eat a lot of that. It seems like they're always snacking. It seems like they're always snacking on Cheez-Its or chips or little munchies. And that's what I mean. That's what comes to mind. You're not filling your tank up with the right stuff. What's the right stuff? Well, this right here. Ah! It's dense. It exists in nature. This isn't in a plastic bag. So, you can read more below if you want. Um, but the, the other thing is this is a little bit harder to face, although you might already realize it, but um, you may have a food problem. You may have an undiagnosed eating disorder, and that's uh, nothing wrong with that. It's no shame. Sometimes when you have an eating disorder, it just means that you have too many rules in your head. So if you have a rule that you can't have carbs after 8 p.m. or you, can't, you can only have 500 calories of carbs or the carbs have to come from some sort of thing, and then you have another rule over here that says... Uh, you know, you got to wait two hours after you ate or um, you could have 10,000 rules in your head. And you might not even know you have these rules in your head. You could have these beliefs in your head. Anyways, you just stop eating because there's all this conflict and mental confusion in your head. Um, a lot of times this comes from someone who's been used to dieting or who, who is dieting, you know, they've, they've been taught uh, in their dieting programs, whether that's Weight Watchers or a, a program assigned by their doctor or, or whatever. It could just be, you know, the average girl scanning Instagram and, you know, doing some quick homework and realizing, hey, if I don't eat as much, then I'm going to lose weight. could be just the, the average person like that. Um, just realizing that, oh, if I, if I don't eat much, then I'm going to lose weight. Um, somehow these ideas get in our head. And they're not right. <laughs> they're not right. They're not, they're not good ideas. Um, you need to eat food. You need to fill up the, your tank with the right food. Um, don't make it more complicated than it needs to be. Uh, if you're eating stuff that you can find in nature, get enough. I call this in the post down below a lack of inner peace. If you're, if you're not eating enough in your... It's one thing if you're just not eating well. Like, that's, you know, change your diet. Experiment. Have three meals a day 
and each meal, eat, get a good amount of food, cut out the snacks, eat real food, f- food that comes from nature, eat dense food, chicken, you know, stuff like this. Um, get, you know, palm food. Anyways, eat real meals and see if, you're, if your hunger goes away. But if you're not able to do that, you got to take a real honest look at yourself. Because if you're lacking peace with food, if you're in a stressful relationship with food, it, it doesn't need to be that way. Um, I, it, it, can be, it can be very hard. If you're close to the problem, it can be hard to see the problem. Um, meaning you might just be so used to struggling with food. You might be so used to being at war with food that you don't even really think about it anymore. You just don't eat. You avoid the war entirely. And you are hungry all the time. So, um, you know, just be honest with yourself. Um, sometimes being honest about food and our struggles with food, um, it's a hard thing to be honest about. Um, but if we can come forth and, and just confess sort of these crazy thoughts that we have about food, then it can really help us change our relationship with food. So I'm going to end this little video. I hope this helps. Leave a comment down below if you have more questions. Love to answer your questions. Again, there's an in-depth video down or an in-depth article down below um, that'll take you to the website. And that's it. Thank you for spending your time watching me and I hope this was of use to you. Okay, peace.